There are other evidences as well. For example, in dinosaur nests, and there are dinosaur nests with eggs in them, and often these eggs will have a double shell on them. And that's normally should be almost non-existent because animals lay eggs with a single mm -hmm. shell. Mm -hmm. But if you stress a chicken, for example, the egg, instead of being laid, will pass back through the uh, process of laying down a shell a second time, and so you'll get a double shell. And that's an indication of stress. Mm. And we find a lot of these in dinosaur nests, we find a lot of these double-shelled eggs. So that's an indication that they were laying their eggs under, under stress. Mm. Now, uh, one can only imagine what kind of conditions would cause a dinosaur to lay its eggs during a global catastrophe, but they have to lay them if they're producing them, so right. it would have to happen sometime. And that, uh, that brings us back to a different per, uh, perspective of the flood that a lot of times we pass on to children, right? Right. <laughs> it's like the gentle rain comes down and the, and the floodwaters come up. But this was a catastrophic event, and it was going on over a long period of time, long enough, evidently, for us to maybe consider that dinosaurs uh, the, were stressed in the process of making eggs. Yeah. 